What's up, homie? It's Julia. And Ethan. And GPA TV starts right now. Please remember to have your IDs while you're on campus. Want to try something different at lunch? Yes. GameSpot begins weekly on this Wednesday in the Lower Wellness. A variety of table type games will be provided. Wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. I will be sure to try that. Volunteers needed for the GPPA Fall Festival on Thursday, October 27th from 5 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. It's going to be a big event for family and friends. You can sign up for a short shift or be here from setup starting at 3 o'clock p.m. to the end of the event at 7 o'clock. Please sign up in the library. I will be sure to go. Really? Gonna get those community service hours. Yep. Breeze Hill Elementary Fall Carnival, Saturday, October 29th, 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. <laughs> 11 11, Melrose Way Vista. We are looking for responsible students that would like to help out and run some of the carnival booths. Please email Leah Cruz at leahcruz4 at gmail.com or Sean Johnson, johnson.sean at gmail.com. If, if you can volunteer, shifts are from 9 30 to 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock to 12 30, or 12 30 to 2 o'clock. And now for a word of the week by Kayla Potter. It's Kayla Potter here with Harrison, Kyle, Maddie Clicksu, <laughs> Ryan Cobb, Javier, Wade, Sophie, Gabby, Aurelia Smith. And our word of the week this week is cacarafiophobia. Yeah. Harrison, do you know what cacarafiophobia means? It might be like stay inside because you're scared of anything that's outside, like the fear of something. Well, it is a fear of something, but it doesn't have to do with being outside. You have another guess? No. <laughs> Kyle, do you know what cacarafiophobia means? No. <laughs> don't you have any guesses? No, I don't think I even know how to pronounce it. It is most likely a fear of cockroaches, and the cockroaches get sick. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Good. Good. Phobia. Phobia, I know phobia means like a uh, fear of something. Phobia. Do you know what cacarafiophobia means? No. Um, it's probably a fear because phobia, but I don't know the rest. You don't know what kind of fear it is? No. Um, scared of being scared? That's close, very close. Fear of failing. That is actually correct. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what cacarafiophobia means? No, but I know phobia means you're afraid of something. But I don't know what the other word is. You, do you have any guesses? No. Gabby, do you know what cacarafiophobia means? A fear of cockroaches. No, do you have any more guesses? No. I'm smarter than you think. I know what it means. All right, what does it mean? Fear of failure. How did you know that? I definitely didn't hear it from Maddie or anything. Okay, this is Ben Caleb Potter with... <laughs> Aurelia Smith. Signing out.
Wow, that was great, good job. In the punishing afternoon, heat of last Friday afternoon, two amazing teams of middle school football players battled it out for glory. Coach Rodriguez's team stealing, stealing. <laughs> put up a good fight, but in the end, Coach Tenney's ballers, that sounds cool, squeaked out a victory of 18 to six. A big congratulations to the winners and a good job to all the players. What's the next challenge, middle school? Boys Soccer is selling Farmers Insurance open tickets, $15 off per ticket. For every $35 ticket Boys Soccer sells, you receive $25. Tickets provide the same access as general admission tickets purchased through the tournament and help our cause at the same time. To purchase, please email haterku at homie.net. Come out to support the high school and middle school orchestra and choir in their first concert of the year. Ooh, that sounds cool. Thursday, October 13th at 7 p.m. in the gym. Admission is $5 for adults. That's a good deal. GPA students free with ID. Oh, Even yes. better. Yeah, that's cool. Made in America. Future songs that were composed right here in the USA. Concert starts with the local Marines presenting the color guard for the national anthem. We will be honoring those who are from one of the divisions of the armed force. Military and veterans will get in free. Also featured Rhapsody and Blue American folk songs. Songs from the 60s, America, and one hand and one heart. From West Side Story and My Shots. From the Tony Award winning Broadway musical Hamilton, the concert ends with Oh America, featuring all singers and musicians. I think I did that right there. You should join choir. <laughs> Skills. And now for another episode of Topic Tuesday. Hey, Guhomi, I'm Em. And this is Jay. And we're back with another episode of, of Topic, Topic Tuesday. Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about life hacks, fashion, new songs, sports, new music, TV shows and some birthdays. <laughs> I'm super excited, this episode's gonna be fantastic. Sure is. First, with life hacks. If you wanna whiten your teeth, all you have to do is brush your teeth like normal, mix baking soda and lemon juice equally into a container, then scrub this onto your teeth with your fingers or a toothbrush. I recommend a toothbrush because it works better to scrub and you have automatically whitened teeth. I'm super excited to try this, especially when I get my braces off because I want my teeth to look great. <laughs> our next life hack is to review and go over your essay. So what you're going to do is type up your essay on Google Docs, Word, or any other um, document typing thing you have on your computer. Type it up and then you're going to copy it and paste it into Google Translate. And then hit the speak button in the bottom right hand corner of, corner of your uh, computer. Listen to it so you can hear if there's any mistakes or um, kind of awkward sentences. So you can okay. fix it, turn it in, and get an A. That that's really smart. I know. Because I don't sometimes, know who came up with that, but that's yeah, great. Because sometimes I'll realize that I have a grammar mistake in my essay, and I don't even realize it, and I read through it, I'm like, oh, okay, it's good, and it's not. So you'll turn it in and get a bad grade. Yeah. So help you out. <laughs> our, life hack, our next life hack is if you study, say, study later in the day in your bed and you end up falling asleep. So what you're going to do is you're going to study in your backyard or your porch so you're more awake and aware of what you're studying. And make sure you study in the same place every time because it'll help you remember it on the test. Also, I tend to fall asleep if I study in my room or my bed, so make sure you study outside or somewhere where you're not going to fall asleep or get distracted. That's really smart. I'll have to try that sometimes because I always fall asleep when I study. <laughs> Me too. These are some great life hacks. Next, on to fashion. Everybody loves a beautiful dress to wear to a dance, but these dresses that Nanette Lepore has designed are unbelievable. Yeah, her new fall series is out and all of her dresses and outfits are gorgeous. Nanette Lepore is an American fashion designer based in New York City. New York Magazine that has said that her gypsy fashion style is feminine and youthful. Alexander Wang is a, Taiwan, a Taiwanese American fashion designer and the former creator creative director of Balenciaga. At age 19, he moved to New York City to attend Parsons School of Design. That's so cool, good for him. He has a great style of fashion and his clothes are dark and they tell a message in everything that he presents. I really love his fashion, I need to try out some of his clothes. Me too. Our last designer is Donna Karen. 
She has a very unique sense of style and her designs are elegant and proper and I'm absolutely in love with all of them. Me too. I'm not really into that kind of proper stuff, but there's no way to get around her clothes. I love them. They're so beautiful and great job with that series that you came out with. Now, with some new songs. Our first song is On What You're On. Body Moves. Would I Lie to You. And Famous. These songs sound super cool, I need to listen to them. Now, some new TV shows. American Housewife Season 1 comes out tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. <laughs> Falling Water Season 1 premieres on October 13th. I need to find out if October 13th is a Friday, because it's October and it's all spooky and Friday the 13th. So we need to find out. <laughs> the next is Graves Season 1 premieres on October 16th. Berlin Station Season 1 premieres on October 16th. <laughs> The Great Indoors Season 1 premieres on October 27th. That sounds super good, The Great Indoors. I'm going to see that. <laughs> uh, Pure Genius Season 1 premieres on October 27th. Make sure you watch all these new shows. Yeah, a lot of them are coming out. <laughs> Some new movies are... Shin Godzilla came out today. So make sure after school you finish your homework and go see it. Doctor, S Doctor Strange and Trolls comes out on November 4th. Okay, Almost Christmas comes out on, on November 11th. Wow, those movies all sound really great. Yeah, I'm excited to go see them. Me too. Here are some celebrity birthdays. Rhett McLawhon, a YouTube star, has turned 39. Wait, isn't he on Mythical Morning? Yeah, I think he is. He's super funny. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Cardi B, a reality star, has turned 24. Hayden Beerley, a TV actor, has turned 16. Hey, he plays a character on the Fosters. I love him. He's already 16. He was like 12 when, they show, when the show know. started. Oh my <laughs> gosh, happy birthday. Joanna Duggar, a reality TV star, has turned 11. She is 11 and on a reality TV show. That's happy crazy. birthday. That's <laughs> absolutely crazy. Steve Young, a football player, has turned 55. Mick Latte, a rapper, has turned 46. Wow, those are a lot of birthdays. Happy birthday, everyone. Yeah, and happy birthday. And a special thanks to Mr. Amaya. Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> well, that was Topic Tuesday with me, Em. And Jay. Now, now back to the wow, studio. Wow, that was great. Good job, guys. Come out and support our middle school volleyball team on Wednesday, October 12th, as they play their first home game of the year against Calavera Hills Middle School. We will dominate. <laughs> Admission is free for all. The JV game starts at 4.15 p.m. and the Varsity game starts at 5.15 p.m. in the gym. You will see me there. <laughs> and now for some Students of the Week and Teacher's Choice. Wow, congratulations everybody. Yay, good job. Middle School Varsity Volleyball will have a meeting at lunch date in Mr. Fessenden's room, 3212. This has been Ethan and Julia signing out. out.